Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the other half of uh, the uh, Primal Rage Water deck, or Primal Water as I was calling it. Um, so I'm in testing up a room match, um, as you can see. And I'm going up against Span D, um, he's an ex-clan ex member. Um, just watched my last vid and had a couple of pointers. I could have tried another few flyaways with Rayquaza and potentially had a few more chances to win that last match that actually would have made the deck far more viable than what I thought at the end. Um, so I asked him to put together a tropical deck with Rayquaza like someone would use in League. And so he's gone and done it for me, and let's see how this will do. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to run up the side, or up this way, with my Vaporeon. I've swapped Vaporeon for the Froakie to Greninja. Ooh, going to attack? No, that's alright. So, and right about now, so I can hurdle jump that, or... He is 60 and I am 40. I can potentially drop a Manaphy here and that is going to buff me versus Kabolian. Kabolian? 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 Ooh, interesting. So, since Mew's out, that means uh, Penguin's going to be coming out. And I'm going to move my penguin up, start applying some pressure because if I can attack that Kabolian, I'll be in a good spot. Um, but this is what I mean. So the thing is, whoever drops their Rayquaza out or um, one of these mons first, um, the both of ours, his Rayquaza, my Rayquaza, and my Cairo are going to get the plus 20. So, but the thing why I thought about this deck is if I can get my Cairo plus 40 when that happens, um, he's going to be able to overpower the Rayquaza if we both learn our highest attacks, which Kyrogre is smaller, and there we go. So now I've got the M extra MP and the extra... Oh, ouch. Break energy. <laughs> See what I mean about break energy? In my last match, break energy all the time. But now... I'm sending Kyrogue out, and Kyrogue will now have a 170 Hydro Pump, which is pretty crazy. The bad thing is, it's got a giant purple versus Rayquaza's giant purple and giant yellow. So, this right here could go either way, which is pretty interesting. Oh, <laughs> break energy! <laughs> oh, man. Alright. So now, because of that, I was just checking to see if he was level 5 or not. Um, <laughs> but, but because of that, um, if he was level 5, I would have seen that Polly because I'd have a chance to have a bigger miss. But without, he's just going to be cycling around. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to move my mana fee up. If his Rayquaza goes for a fly, which would be interesting, it's very, very risky Rayquaza versus Rayquaza. I'm guessing he's setting up for something of the sorts. Um, which is pretty cool. I'm going to move my Polly up the side here. I'm guessing he's going to counter me with Sceptile. Um, or go for the Ray flyover. Which is going to be super interesting. Ooh. No, oh yes, that's, that, that'll work. Um, I don't know why I put Verizian. Ah, oh, I know why I did that for Ray, so Ray can't die to yellow. Smart. But if this doesn't work, and if we go purple on purple, it's going to give me a chance to get rid of Verizian, and then I'll be going for that Mew. So, if that happens... Good night. And then I'm going to go after that Mew next. Unless he wakes it up. Which he does. So I'll try that again now. And then next, if I can take out the Verizian, I'll go for Mew. 
and then I'll go for a surround roll. Ha <laughs> the miss. The miss. Smart player. Alright, luckily he got the grass knot anyway. Here we go. Ah, oh, this is a real. Um, Rakels and him do have quite a big misses though, which is quite a downside. Um, I'm not going to bother defending against Rakels because he's back down to 1 MP. There we go. So I just want to get rid of Rizian and then I'll go for Mew. That's the plan. It's going to take me a little bit longer now. Just going to block this off here, then I'm going for that Mew. Mm. Trying to take it out, smart, because if he can take that out, he's going to stop my Mew. Fly away. Go down to here, I'm guessing. Yep. If I go there, take out Mew, he's got to defend, and then I can surround. But this is all depending on me taking out Mew. If I don't take out Mew, I'm in massive trouble. Alright. Because now if he goes back on there with goal, he's got to take um, out Polywheel to win. Goal block. Alright. Oh, he goal blocked Ray. Now this is interesting, because... Extreme Speed's the biggest, is going to push him into Break Energy. So if he rolls ex Extreme Speed, he's going to get Break Energy. If, but this is the thing, as you'll see in the consistently inconsistencies, yeah, surround going off. Which is pretty cool. Um, what I was going for is Extreme Speed Takeout, but I didn't mind the fly, to be honest. Um, so, with that, I want to put my Empoleon up here. And then I want to get moving with my Kyrogue and see if I can't have a bit of fun with it. I'm just going to see if I can't get my purple to roll off on the Moultries. Push him back one. <sighs> I got it! <gasps> and roost! <sighs> um, but, okay, so the reason why I changed him to Greninja is... <laughs> and he sees what I'm doing. <laughs> Smart. Alright. So, that was quite cool. Um, I'm going to go right now for the 90 on 100, um, since I've got the buffs. And we'll see if... No, but I'll take an Ice Beam. And I'm not going to attack just yet. I've got my 2 MP going. Ooh, he's going for the tech. Hopefully I get a fly. That's what I'm wanting. So I could go right up there, but I'll go for the surround just because Sceptile is such a pain to deal with. Um, go for the surround, and then I'm going to start hopefully making some trouble. Hopefully. Ooh. He's done with his... I want to go for that blue purple again. I wasn't going to, but I'm going to go for it. Roost! <laughs> Sorry, I got white anyway. Um, <laughs> and he sees that and he's covering up again. And because he's covered back up, I'm going to now cover up that entry. Block him from getting the um, unfreeze. Don't want that to happen. I'm just going to put my uh, whale over there. I was considering putting uh, Rayquaza there. Um, I could have, but I found it a wee bit risky. But now, because um, because if Verizion's backed off, I'm actually going to go for the attack. Tidal wave, not bad. Give him a bit of weight. Let's see what that Verizion's going to do. I'm going to have to stay back a little bit. I've got my gold block in pretty much all my plates still, which is a bonus. 
Interesting. Hopefully I get that purple. Always looking for that purple. Oh, double miss. It's pretty harsh. Um, he cannot die to, to yellows at the moment. So I'm just looking for that hydro pump. That big old powerful hydro pump. Hoo-hoo, right on the edge. 170, and that's... That's what I was looking for with this Water Primal deck. And now he can, things can die to yellow again. Which is what I'm looking for. And then I'm going to start pushing. Ooh, he's just going to go stepping over me. I hope I can get purple. I want purple on his white. No, not going to happen. But I will cover up his entries over about now. I could have gone for the surround, but I'll go for the entries. Because I don't want Mew coming out just yet. He's going to jump over me. And then I want a gold block. <sighs> gold block, my whale. That was potentially a terrible idea because it's only got one star. Um, I think with the buffs to Rayquaza, Cairo definitely deserves a buff to his title, at least two star. Um, it is a, a super, super good skill, but as a one MP mon, it just, the, the, it just doesn't cut it. Um, now, where do I want to put it? It's a good question. Probably up over here. Out of the way. And what I want to do now. Do I want to attack with Ray? Is the question. I think I do. I want to go for the attack with Ray. And it's nice having him 2 MP and being able to do this. Ah, oh, the flyaway. Um, because I had an opportunity to do it without the traps. Is why I, why I wanted to do it then, um, but I shouldn't have, and I know I shouldn't have, because now he's got a Mew out, and I'm just attacking this to suicide it, so I can get one Mon out, and I get my slide on white that could have came earlier, um, <laughs> but why I was attacking Mew is because I wanted to get another Mon out. Um, so, right about here is where I'm going to go down here, and I'm either going to get myself in a position where I can surround you, or block this other side. So, if he doesn't go purple on yellow, then I'm going to surround. And that super lucky break energy. Terrible, terrible break energy that always keeps happening. Um, Ray's going to pop on over here. And then I'll let Sceptile come out. And let's have a bit of fun. I need a suicide that... The problem with suiciding against a Sceptile, you've got to consider it's a giant blue giant 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 blue and that's just <sighs> such a hassle to be honest so I don't really need my mana feet at the moment since Cairo is hanging way down here and Cairo is way up there oh sorry <laughs> um, other way around there we go so I've suicided my I've suicided my Vaporeon, and now I want to go have some fun with my Poliwhirl, and see if I can't cause some shenanigans to happen. Yeah, smart. I'm going to attack. If I attack and he gets his... Yellow and spins into his blue, then I'm in trouble. Um, or if he spins his blue into white, 
Oh, there we go. Just as I called it, and that's game. Um, so definitely not the best counter. Um, Tropical is still a super super good, um, <coughs> but yeah, that's gonna <laughs> that's what I wanted last gym. <laughs> Thank you, probably will just to turn late as well. Um, but that's how it's going to be. Spandy, great player, gave me heaps of a couple of pointers when I missed my flyers in the other video, so thank you. Um, and that's how a primal rage will work. That's kind of how I'm doing, but if I was to do that, I'd definitely have to get that Kyrogue up near Rayquazar a little bit more, um, just for those better matchups. Um, although it's still f super risky, so. If this looks like a thing, something that you guys would enjoy, uh, feel free to try it out. Um, and other than that, love to hear from you guys as always. Um, see you next time.